Hey guys, we are going to upgrade our water system. We've got a, a water filter that we're going to put into the uh, system so it will filter out all the pine needles and sediment that uh, is collected with our rain catchment uh, before it gets to the pump itself. And then we're going to uh, just beef it up a little bit. Hey guys, alright, so I started without you. So basically, I needed to get a one or a three quarter inch to a one inch for this for this uh, filter here. It's just a GE filter, um, but all they had at the Home Depot was the ones that's got these little uh, bites for your um, for your wrench. So I just grinded this off. It still needed a little more clearance. So I don't know if you can see that. Hold on, let's see if we can focus in on that. So I just had to grind off a little bit of this. Uh, of the filter so and this is just a selector switch so it's either off filtering or bypassing uh, so it was no big deal to to grind on the top of that but we got her done that's the important thing all right so in that last video I showed that um, this right here was ballooning up because water was getting in between the two uh, pieces of PVC so uh, we're gonna just put this as a as a backup I got a brass fit and that uh, we're just going to throw in there. It's a little check valve. It's got a little directional error so we can't mess up. Hey guys, so we got this check valve uh, with both of its connectors on pla in place now. So what I'm going to do is just mock the rest of the system up with the filter. And then, uh, then when we're all finished, we'll go back through, glue everything up. And then we uh, should be good. So this is just the uh, the input portion so this and the filter will be on the input portion and then we're going to add a uh, like a, a T on the uh, output so we can have uh, ho water going to the cabin and then water going to uh, uh, water hose outside here and then one to a hot water on demand hey Abby Hi, happy girl. Please don't knock over my stuff, though, okay? Hi, baby. Yeah, that's a good oh, that's a good girl. That's a good girl. The filter was a little too much. It was weighing down, and it was really pulling on this, so I just buried a little stump here, and then I got a 2x4, uh, drilled out a hole in it, and uh, basically I'm just going to glue all this stuff on, put the support piece on, and then we'll start working on the other side. Alright, there's my support. It's in place. Now we can finish uh, getting the uh, other side of this hooked up with the filter. Alright, so we got the input section all hooked up with the check valve and the filter. Uh, we're going to prime it, see if we can get water coming out the other side, and then we'll start working on the T-valve the over here. Alright, so let's plug this humdinger in and see if it'll go. Well, the filter's full of water, so it looks like it primed itself pretty good. It sounds like it's about to shut off now. There you go, it just shut off, so we got a tank full of water now. That's pretty cool. And we filter, because we get it still, even with the screens and stuff up top on the tote, without that first flush, we're still going to be getting pine needles in here. So I wanted to put a filter outside so it would filter out the pine needles. And then you can just unscrew this thing and uh, empty the pine needles and then shoot it back in. You know, clear it out. And then uh, and then these filters are changeable too, so this, this will last forever unless the company goes out of business pretty cool all right let's start working on the T on the other side so I'll give you a breakdown of what's going on here all right so there we got the uh, the two going into out of the tote 
and then we got it uh, reduced down to a one. It comes up, that brass fitting is a, is a check valve. Then it goes over, we filter the water here to get all the pine needles and stuff out. And that first little T there, that is to prime it. If we, it, it, it really does a good job priming itself, but uh, that's to prime it if we need to prime it. Then the second uh, T up top there, that's to prime the, uh, the output side if we need to do that. Then we put this T on here so we can run hoses. And then that uh, PEX tubing goes into the house. And then tune in next week and we're going to install that uh, hot water on demand so we can have hot water inside the cabin and we can take hot showers outside here. Alright, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And uh, we appreciate you. See you next week.